uh, thank you so much guys and uh, continue to watch the videos in my channel until the end of the last video in this uh, playlist i bet you would be uh, an expert at using google ads i'm teaching all these things for free so that you don't have to go to any institute to learn them you go to institutes to practice them in real time that is how you become a master you don't become a master or expert just by learning these things and watching them never and don't waste your time you're wasting a lot of money and wasting a lot of time you'll not make a career if you go to learn these things in institutes so be prepared then go to an institute to practice them in real time that is when you need a mentor or somebody who can really give you access to a lot of big accounts accounts that invest lakhs and crores of rupees right so we do a private training we do a one on one training we do a boot camp if interested they are very very in depth you can go through the website prashanttrainingutella.com or my other uh, uh, websites like boot camp so you can go through you find more information so today in this video i'm going to take you through about a feature called dynamic keyword insertion let's jump right in right see dynamic keyword insertion it's called dki right so first thing before i continue dynamic keyword insertion it's an advanced adwords feature which dynamically updates the ad text so before i continue i want to tell you one point when you create an ad you make a mistake you don't make a mistake however you write the ad google will take your ad to ad approvals and in the ad approvals there is a team there are two teams automatic and manual review whichever team i don't want to talk about that your ad will be reviewed if any mistake your ad will be disapproved if you make a small mistake like a spelling mistake in the ad google will not make changes to that and say hey uh, it's okay you made a small mistake let me correct that no your ad will simply be approved or disapproved but google will never make any edits to your ad correct so i want to establish the fact that google will never make any changes to your ad right so now so you, I, i think you already watched the entire videos in the playlist first you create an account then you create a campaign then you create an ad group and ad ultimately ads and keywords are created in the ad group ad groups can be created in the campaign that's why you need to understand all the st uh, account structure and the settings that are available at each level right now there's one policy here remember the policy i'm saying right so if this is a campaign i selected a campaign called a uh, adwords search and i have an adwords ad okay ad group this is the campaign all campaigns campaign name and the ad group is adwords ad ad campaign name is adwords search you see here i am into keywords okay keywords these are all the keywords you know right so ultimately i told you in the in the beginning of the uh, the videos in the channel when search term of the user matches with your keyword your ad will go to the auction correct or your keyword will trigger the ad to auction so these are my keywords right so when i write my keywords i'm telling google hey whenever people search on google in whichever locations i have targeted that is a campaign level setting imagine i'm targeting hyderabad and my keyword is google adwords training in hyderabad so anybody goes to google.com and searches on google the search term google adwords training in hyderabad it matches my search term no, sorry my keyword my keyword will trigger the ad let's go to the ad once these are my keywords let's go to the ad if i go to the ad now there are certain ads i've written the 3 4 ads generally google recommends it. so this is my ad now remember if you write if you write one campaign one ad group or one campaign one ad group 10 ads 10 keywords or 10 keywords or 3 ads just think like this 10 keywords 3 ads campaign ad group 10 keywords 3 ads the policy is any keyword in the ad group can trigger any ad in the ad group that means your first keyword can trigger first second third second keyword can trigger second third uh, one two three fourth can also trigger one two three there is no restriction ki google will only serve first keyword first ad second keyword second ad no any keyword in the ad group can trigger any ad from the ad group right so let's come back i have an example here right this is my ad imagine i've written an ad headline one headline two headline three description one description display now these are my certain keywords digital marketing training so whenever people search these keywords in the locations i've targeted based on the campaign level settings my ads will show so imagine if people search digital marketing training the same ad will appear people search digital marketing training in hyderabad same ad will appear digital marketing courses in hyderabad same ad will appear now here is only one ad right if i have three four ads you still can't control which keyword will trigger which ad if you want one keyword to trigger first ad second keyword to trigger the second ad then you have to put them into separate ad groups right that is where we learn the concept of single keyword ad group single keyword ad group they create multiple ad groups in each ad group they write one keyword one ad and make those ads and keywords very relevant but my topic is not that i am restricting to dynamic keyword insertion right so these are my keywords these are my ads so whichever keyword triggers the ad remember the same ad will appear but prashant i want to make my ads and keywords very relevant but i don't want to create multiple ad groups right multiple ad groups there i have to create multiple ad groups i can write so many ads why should i do that that is when google has one feature called dynamic keyword insertion remember dynamic i told you google will never make any changes to your ad but dynamic keyword insertion you can dynamically update the text right to use this what you do is you have to in, 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 use a small syntax i will show you now if you go to the ads part i go to the ad when you go to the ad you have headline 1 headline 2 headline 3 correct 
right? This is what you write. But when you go to headline one, headline two, headline three, description, wherever you want to use, remember there's a small feature called, I'm removing this thing, there's a small feature called flower braces. When you click on this flower braces, it shows something called keyword insertion. When you click on keyword insertion, it shows you the syntax. Syntax is keyword colon, flower braces, keyword colon. You don't have to remember that. Earlier you had to remember this, but now you don't have to remember it because Google does that for you. Remember Google does that for you, right? So all you have to remember is uh, enter the flower braces. Google will give you the drop down. In the drop down, you select keyword and there you have to enter the default. Uh, flower braces, keyword colon. And here you have to enter the default text. When I enter the default text, imagine if I write something like digital marketing bootcamp here, right? This is my default text. Which one is my default text? Digital marketing bootcamp, right? So if I click on apply, you see digital marketing bootcamp. It is not showing the flower braces keyword, which is here. You see here, it is not showing that. Why? That's just a syntax. No, Prashant, why did I even do this? Why did I even do this? Because when I insert dynamic keyword insertion in the headline one, headline two, headline three, wherever you want, it works like this. When the search term of the user matches with your keyword, the same ad will appear. First keyword, same ad, second keyword, same ad, third keyword, same ad. I'll tell you. If you come here, any of the keyword matches, the same ad will appear. Bootcamp, bootcamp, bootcamp for all the keywords. No, Prashant, for training, I want to show training. For institute, I want to show institute. For course, I want to course. I want to uh, uh, show the ad course. And for that, you have to get multiple ads. Don't do that. You simply in insert this dynamic keyword insertion. And when you do this, what happens, right? Whichever keyword triggers the ad, correct? that keyword will go and replace the default text. That means if the keyword that triggered my ad is digital marketing training, that digital marketing keyword that triggered the ad will replace the default text. That means rather than digital marketing bootcamp, it will show digital marketing training. You, of course, your default text is digital marketing bootcamp. But if your keyword that triggered the ad is digital marketing training institute, that keyword that triggered the ad will replace the default text. That means digital marketing bootcamp, which is your default text will be replaced with digital marketing training institute, right? Now there's one more problem here. One more condition you have to remember. Prashant, you can write keywords which are longer than 30 keywords, 30, 30 words, 30 letters, sorry, 30 characters, but the title of the ads, the headline, headline two, headline three, you can have only 30. So when the keyword has to replace, what if the keyword length is more than 30? Google will not allow it because it's a straight violation of Google policy. In that case, when the keyword length is beyond the, the character limit, Google will display the default text, which is digital marketing bootcamps. That means if people search digital marketing training, ad will appear as digital marketing training. Digital marketing training in Hyderabad, it will show digital marketing bootcamp because the characters for digital marketing training in Hyderabad is more than 30 and Google will not allow. In those cases where your keyword length is more than 30 and dynamically the keyword cannot insert itself in the default text, it will display the default text. So it's like dynamic keyword insertion. Keyword will go and replace itself in the default text. And for that to happen, you have to use the small syntax. If you don't use that, you write the standard ad, headline one, headline two, headline three, whatever you want, but Google will not make any changes to that. Google will simply approve or disapprove. But when you use this syntax, the keyword will replace the default text. And where do you find the default text? In the syntax. Where do you find the syntax? The syntax you will find when you go to the ad, put flower braces, you have the small option called keyword insertion. Here you write the default text. This default text will be replaced with the keyword that triggered your ad. Right guys? This is one good way to make your ad very, very relevant. This will increase your CTR. This will make sure your ad is very attractive and very appealing. And this way you can drive more clicks into conversions. So you don't have to create multiple ads. You can write 100 keywords and only one ad. That is dynamic keyword insertion. Still your ad becomes more relevant because the keyword gets inserted. Dynamic keyword insertion. If you want to learn work on accounts, which spend literally lakhs and crores and see how they work in real time, how they affect uh, the real-time account performance. You can join an institute or join my course one-to-one. -one. You would work an account with little interest, lacks and close. Thank you so much. I will see you in another, uh, in another video. But until then, go through the AdWords account, create this. If you have any, uh, you know, questions, you can, you can comment. I'd be more than happy to create another video and go through the content on the internet. So much of content available. Just go through and become expert. Remember, these are features that are available. I'm teaching these things for free so that you don't have to go anywhere else. You watch the entire playlist. I'm telling you everything is covered. If you want more information, you can read on the internet. If you want to practically work, then you can join uh, our training program. Thank you so much. You visit my website, prashanthrainingutel.com and my bootcamp, and I would be more than happy to take you through. Thank you so much. See you with another video. Thank you.